Hello and welcome to ARL Inside. I'm your host, TJ Gibson. A major advancement in lightweight body armor just may be in store for America's military, due in large part to research that Army Research Laboratory and University of Delaware scientists began more than a decade ago. Here inside Rodman Laboratory, scientists are executing innovative research expected to influence next generation body armor technology. The U.S. Army has always set as a priority the development and fielding of the best personal protection systems possible for its soldiers. Throughout the years, achieving this has been met with challenges to keep uniforms as lightweight as possible while improving their operational effectiveness, flexibility, and durability. Scientists at ARL's Weapons and Materials Research Directorate link their expertise in textiles, ballistics, and body armor to cutting-edge research at the University of Delaware that focused on a nanotechnology application that toughens fabrics. The novel armor material the team is working on is based on shear thickening fluid, a pourable solution that, when sheared, increases its viscosity. So the more stress applied to it, the more resistance it gives to that stress. Fabrics with shear thickening fluids could possibly be used to fortify the resistance of army garments and body armor against puncture and ballistic threats. Uh, you know, originally when we started working on this material, we thought this was going to be armor. Our thought was we were going to have Ziploc bags of that liquid on the soldier, and it would be nice and flexible when he's walking around. But then if a projectile would come in, it would hit that stuff, it would turn hard and repel the projectile. Experiments at ARL proved that sheer thickening fluid on its own was not effective as an armor material. Uh, so then we kind of went back to the drawing board and said, okay, well, how do we make this more useful as an armor material? And that's when we got this idea that we had to reinforce this with something that's a little bit stronger. Engineers looked at treating Kevlar, a well-known high-strength, lightweight component found in military and law enforcement ballistic vest. Tests show that four layers of conventional Kevlar are easily penetrated with minimal force. What I have here is four layers of the same fabric, but I've treated it with this fluid. And when I say I treated it, um, it's not like we take this and we spread it on the outside like icing or something like that. It's not an external coating. Uh, what we actually do is we dilute this with a solvent. Uh, we call it ethanol is a good example, just a, a, low, a very volatile alcohol. We'll dip the fabric in the solution, pull it out again, and then this stuff kind of soaks into all the little nooks and crannies between the fibers and between the yarns and the fabric. We put it in an oven, pull off the ethanol, and this gets left behind. But what is different about it is its response to uh, threats, things like puncturing threats. This same technology can be applied to gloves police and medical personnel wear to address threats from hypodermic needles.